Hey everyone, so now that I've finished university I kind of want to talk about my experience a bit more um, because I realise that's not really something I've done it much over the last years. I've done the odd university video. There's so much more that I can talk about. Throughout my degree, um, when people have asked me what, what I study, um, whenever I say computer science, um, a lot of the time I will get a very blank reaction and people don't know what the hell it is. I just wanted to make a video kind of explaining what you kind of do on a computer science degree. This is based off my own experience at Plymouth University so the kind of things you cover and stuff might be slightly different at other universities. I guess if you could sum it up in a sentence it is the study of computational systems. There's a lot of computational theory involved but there's also quite a lot of practical elements as well. I remember when trying to figure out what I wanted to do at university I wasn't even 100% sure if the course was for me and that's probably mainly due to my lack of experience. Back in my day when I was at school um, computer science GCSEs and A-levels didn't exist. Um, I did an ICT GCSE and I also did an ICT A-level which was a complete waste of time. So I guess if you're considering doing computer science um, Normally the average person who wants to do computer science or would be good at computer science usually likes maths. You have to like problem solving and kind of breaking stuff down and thinking analytically and critically. Obviously you also have to find the subject of technology interesting. Actually you have to be able to work independently but you also have to be really good to work at a team. Although the stereotype for a computer science nerd is that you sit in a dark room on your own. That is not the case in the real world. You will predominantly work with teams. But obviously if you're a bit younger then I would say take it take computer science for GCC, take it at A-level, you've got that opportunity there to decide whether you like it or not. I didn't really have that opportunity when I was younger. Failing at that, if you can't do it at GCC at A-level at your school or you're older and you're looking at going back to university, I would definitely suggest taking on some projects in your own time, such as like programming, seeing if you enjoy it, um, do a lot of research and stuff about the potential jobs and kind of things that you cover just to make sure it's definitely for you. The kind of thing that you will do on a computer science degree obviously varies by university, but in my experience, kind of things that we covered included things like databases, to design databases, how to develop databases, security, so the potential threats that are out there, and the techniques that are used to prevent those threats. One of the biggest parts of my degree probably was software development. You don't just learn how to program, you learn how to program the right way, so there's a neat and tidy way to do it, using the right design methods and design principles and patterns. We also covered a lot of like hardware stuff, so kind of the hardware behind a computer system. We've also covered like the history of computing. We've also learned about computational intelligence and like artificial intelligence and how um, people have used how humans act and interact um, and apply that to computers. And we've also learned a lot about HDI design and how to design stuff correctly and how people interact with interfaces. We've even covered like the legislation and ethics behind computing and things like that because obviously it's quite a newer field so there is still quite a lot of ethical issues around that. So that's kind of a summary of the key things I've covered in the last three years. If you'd like to see some videos kind of explaining those in a bit more detail and explaining what I did year by year and kind of showing off my work then let me know because that's something I'm interested in doing but I'm not sure if anybody would be interested in watching it. I suppose one thing that a lot of people ask me is what can you do with it afterwards? There's a lot of potential areas that you can work in if you have a computer science degree. Obviously computers are the future, they're basically everywhere, you, the possibilities are endless. You can end up in stuff like research, um, I know a lot of people that do masters and PhDs and specialising in one area, so such as like artificial intelligence. For jobs, um, probably one of the most common jobs and the job that I'm going into is a software engineer, um, but you can also specialise in networks, you could specialise in security, you could be like an IT consultant, or you can go down the more businessy route and become a project manager. That is just a small selection of the jobs you can do, the list is honestly endless. Most IT jobs pay very well, most of them will start at about 25 grand when you graduate, maybe up to 30 grand if you're planning on living in London. So if it's something you're interested in, it's definitely the field to be in at the moment. Although I've complained over the years, I actually really love the content of my degree and I've really enjoyed my placement year last year. It definitely was the right choice for me. I hope this video has been remotely interesting. If you have any more questions or you have any more suggestions for any university videos, let me know down in the comments. And yeah, I shall see you tomorrow. Bye.